Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Hello. Lawland. I'm so excited to welcome one of my favorite experts in wellness, in love, and a best-selling author, Andy Liu. Thank you so much for being oh, with us, gorgeous. Jen. Thank you so much for having me. I can't believe I'm on La La Land all the way from Australia, finally. Oh, yeah. It's so far great. from La La. It's so grounded and connected, and that's what I'm all about. Right? We think La La is more about the dreamers, the believers, and the swipers. Yes. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Insta lovers. Well, I Dr. Love Aaron, you know, we have become this swipe life society. And it's kind of moved from connecting and courting, you know, with speed dating. And now it's even faster. But I'm creating a slow dating movement and asking people to actually take their time. Just because we've matched with someone doesn't mean we're getting married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a good point. Why is that so important? Because I think it's incredibly important. But why is it so important <laughs> from your perspective? Well, I think that when I first started researching this book, Rob, about four years ago, um, you know, we all thought that we wanted, you know, something dare I say, a hookup. But um, what I found in my research is that over time, we were a little bit lost, and what we were searching for was something more meaningful, a real deep connection. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's almost timely and relevant now to talk about this and encourage people to say, listen, we're not going to disrespect the social media dating apps or even just sliding into someone's DM on Instagram. It's still OK to court and connect that way. But let's just take a step back now, get to know somebody, and um, and create a real connection like you would in the real world. It's just it's just the way we court and connect, but we don't have to behave differently, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So what advice would you give someone who wants to make the first move on an app or in social media? Well, you've got to remember, you can also have fun with this. <laughs> so, um, you know, you can go on what's called a liking spree and uh, you can go on Instagram, for example, and maybe just like a couple of their photos at the top and maybe scroll down to maybe a, a, a month before and let them know that you're interested. Oh, that's like a stalker, right? That goes down to the way old picture and well, you're like... The stalker might be like the six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Dig too far. Yeah. See, don't, don't do that. You know, when you get the notifications, you've got 20 likes and it's like, okay, that's the stalker. So we need to differentiate between like just showing somebody like you would at a bar. Maybe you might wink at them at the gym or something, give some, some eye contact. That's the same thing. But there is what's called a netiquette, which is what I teach. And it's a, a certain, netiquette. Yeah, I love that. A I love way that. to behave uh -huh. now. So, I mean, I would never even think if someone likes some pictures that they're trying to pick you up. Like, I mean, I guess I'm completely out of the loop because isn't that what dating sites are for? Just to know when you're actually yeah, dating Yeah, I guess we're talking about Instagram because yeah. people actually have met on Instagram and uh, even married. There's love stories at the back of the book as well. Mm -hmm. But if you are on a dating app, then it's obviously obvious. Um, and, you know, you can have a really meaningful connection with someone on, on that way. I mean, there are a lot of people that, as I said, got married from Right. So tell us more about the book. So the, 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 you do this Instagram liking thing or you go on a swiping. So now what? How do you find your lover on Instagram? Well, look, the first thing is I always think you need to love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. Mm. That's oh, a God. huge That's one. That's like uh, straight to the heart right That's a huge now. one. It's yeah. a great tweetable. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, picking up the phone is the new selfie. So I think that we want to ascertain if we have a connection with someone because when we're texting uh, you know you lose the tonality you lose body language with the flirting game and so when you pick up the phone you actually hear all the things that you kind of miss out on you almost have to be a comedic writer if you like to turn that text into a date but we've talked about this with jazz our uh, you know the generation I, w I would for sure pick up the phone with anybody and in her generation it's like you don't do that it's something that you don't you don't talk on the phone well there's a whole chapter called weeding out the weirdos so are they a weirdo or a fake profile or are they just socially awkward? Because it is a new thing. And let's face it, unless you're a comedic writer or something like that, it's going to be difficult. Um, so I think the main thing is to get the confidence um, by really having that hashtag self-love happen first before you put yourself on the market, because it really is a market. Um, <laughs> know your worth um, and, and know your boundaries. Um, and then really get to know that person first. So I like to ask for their other social media accounts as well to make sure that, you know, they got nothing to hide. But then what's the netiquette behind that? Because <laughs> I, if somebody said, where can I find you on Facebook, Twitter, I, I would think, why do you need to know all of this? Yeah, good point. So you actually want to ascertain if they're a real person or if they're a fake profile or you sort of judge them in their natural surroundings with their friends and their work and, and how they like to put themselves out there to the world. But if you don't, if you want to stay safer, make sure that before you get on any social media, you know how to block. You've got to know how to block phone numbers. You have to know how to block people. 
And there are so many ways to do that. Just Google it and make sure that you're really protected and prepared before you sort of put yourself out there. Mm. But you know what? I actually always ask for their social media account first before I give away mine. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing, but I just want to sort of keep myself safer. Well, I think after seven books and playing Cupid, Truly. you've figured out the net again. Right. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it with us. Tell everyone where they can buy the book and follow you personally. So it's on my website, andylew.com, A-N-D-I-L-E-W.com. It's actually um, on ebook there as well. I do have some gifts for Ooh, you as well. Oh, you've also got an event, right? You I want to talk about the event. I would love people to come to my book signing at The Last Bookstore. Um, aligned is the new selfie. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh, I, I love, love that. that. That's yeah. cute. Aligned. Um, so, yeah, at the book signing, uh, you'll find the details on my Instagram. Um, and that one's for you as well. Oh, thank you so much. Rob, you And get... the book. Awesome. Where's Rob's t shirt? Oh, here it is. I love the, the book. So cute. Adorable. Rob gets a different t shirt. Oh, Insta it. lovers, da digital dating, DM disasters, and love stories. I love that. Love that. Rob's on Team Flirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Wow. Man. I'm... There you go. He's going to be at Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is so oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Andy. We're so grateful for your community yeah. and for sharing all the netiquette behind being a hashtag Insta lover. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more at Good Morning La La Land.